So the other day on Twitter, my boy at Jay's Wingball asked if injuries are real. And this got me thinking, which was strange for me and a little painful. For the first seven years of my lifting career, the only injuries that I had were the ones that I made up to get out of leg day. So no, I didn't believe injuries were real. Well now that I'm a little older and my joints climb like hood rats in the club, well, I still don't believe injuries are real. That poppin' sound right there, that's not an injury. That's my joints clapping for me, all right? You see, injuries are muscles making way for themselves, pushing bones out the way. Tiny boats don't creak, all right? You only hear creaks in the hull if you're in a fucking tanker. Ah, let me bring you back to the beginning, all right? You started training through bro science. Your bro, he just grabbed you from the pound and threw you into the ring with the big dogs. He's been lifting since his dad forced him to join Pee Wee football. And day one, you jump right into his workout. Super set. Super set. Been drinking. But you never had a chance to be a beginner. You never built a foundation. You saw a plot of land, and you dropped the house on it like you were playing Monopoly. Ten years later, you step back and look at the house you built. And you realize, this shit's crooked, isn't it? Fuck. Should've spent more time building the foundation. Now you're just looking like a, like a juiced up Quasimodo. Oh, oh man, hunchback of Notre Dame. Oh, where, where the pussy at, dog? Oh. Oh. Hunchback of Notre Dame. Where the pussy at? Swag. But that's not so bad. You know what is bad? The stretching. Now I'm so fucking bored right now. You know, everyone talks about how good stretching is, yet nobody's ever fucking stretching. Right? No one's ever fucking doing it. It's like taking a cycle off a pre-workout, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, I should have done it 16 months ago, uh, but I'm gonna do it next week instead. Or the week after. You see, flexibility is something you attribute to a chick. It's not, it's not an issue of, of you looking less masculine. It's an issue of who the fuck cares. You see, it's cool to be flexible if you're a chick, because then you can turn into a fucking sex transformer in bed. But if you're a dude, what are you gonna do? You're gonna, you're gonna throw your, your, your leg over your head while you're sticking it with a sick mish? No, you're a dude. You keep your legs beneath you at all times. No chick wants to see the horrors hidden beneath your nutsack. I'm telling you, man, it's like fucking Mordor down there. Smell, you smell that? Uh, Fire-breathing dragon and shit. So what now? I should work on my core and stability? As far as abs go, if I could see them, I don't need to work them. Having good abs has nothing to do with stability. Abs are like hot chicks. As long as they look good, who the fuck cares if they're stable? Ah, uh, uh, super set. Uh. Ah, super set. Got your abs right here. Two pack. Two pack Shakur. Back from the dead. Uh, let me guess. Now you're gonna tell me I should start foam rolling, right? Listen, it's always the same guy preaching foam rolling. Some gym shaman. The spiritual healer of the gym. Not to be confused with Top Ramen, the delicious noodles of the kitchen. Mmm, ramen for dinner later. Let's see if this bitch likes ramen for dinner. I don't even put water in it, man. Just eat it raw. I got your butt. I put I put maple syrup in booty though when I eat it. Okay, so yeah, maybe once I complained about the nagging back pain I've had for the last since I've started lifting. And fucking Rafiki over here tells me I should try rolling. Who the fuck you think you're talking to? I've been rolling since house music was called techno. I like that. Turns out he's talking about using Khloe Kardashian's dildo to roll out my muscles like the cookie dough. Save it, all right? Foam rolling is too much science. It's threatening your way of life by reminding you that there's so much more about the body and fitness that you do not know. In other words, foam rolling is bullshit. Foam rolling doesn't exist, neither does evolution, angels are real, and Jesus died for your gains. Church. See you there. So now if you decide you want to try and fix these injuries and imbalances, you're looking at tacking on another 30 minutes of not lifting onto your workout. Now that's time that could be spent hitting calves, which I didn't do because I used that extra 30 minutes for more sets of bench. 
But now I'm double not doing calves. And now the, and I'll never have big calves. So I might as well keep benching. The only thing that's hurting is these weights when I spank them. Ah. Oh, pain don't hurt. Yeah, so maybe my house is crooked. But you know what? I'm just gonna keep building it bigger. I'd rather be the leaning tower of Pisa than the perfectly straight hut of nobody gives a fuck. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, as you can see, I'm doing pretty well for myself. Got a sick corner office. And guess what? Audible's back, and so am I, with a book review. This week's book is A Farewell to Arms by Ernest Hemingway. Now, I stumbled across this book when I was looking for some audio porn to get my brain nut off to. And when I saw the title, I was absolutely outraged. Saying goodbye to training arms? What is, what is this, North Korea? This is the most outrageous book since The Cat in the Hat. It is absolutely ridiculous. Everyone knows cats don't wear hats. But I had to find out what this blasphemy is all about. As they say, know thy enemy. What was the book about? World War I. World War I? Sounds more like World War III if you ask me. Trying to use your freedom of speech to take away my right to bear arms? That sounds like... All out war. You know, if you want to download Isis Hemingway's Guide to Losing Your Games and Hating America or any other book, this one's on me. Hit up audible.com slash bro science life. Uh, just to be clear, the book is free. Uh, this promotion was not. Audible.com slash bro science life. Count it. I don't even need the money because it's my sick job. <laughs> <laughs>